it's that cold outside that I'm going to make one of my delicious hot chocolates. Now i am put in the pan some bits of um, chocolate that are melting. Mmm, it's dark chocolate. I am dicing up some bits of crystallized ginger. Crystallized ginger comes like this. I eat them like this. I love crystallized ginger. But I'm going to chop it up really, really finely. I've got the kettle on to make um, hot water because I want to make some coffee. So I'm making a ginger coffee, creamy, buttery, hot chocolate. So here's the process and ingredients. Um, so this is the beginning of that process at the moment. Is melting chocolate, dicing up ginger, crystallized ginger, and putting the kettle on for the coffee. So that's lovely and ground coffee. Fresh ground coffee is the best kind of coffee. I can't eat the instant stuff because a lot of times it has gluten in it. And uh, so this is fresh ground coffee. So lots of you already know this, but this is how I make my coffee, is just this little plastic thing. Loosen up those. We're in Ireland, so it's damp. Their coffee isn't as dry as you would like it necessarily. Ooh, still some left over. Okay. So I put it in this that goes over this lovely mug that a friend of mine made. So I'm going to make the coffee part of this, um, my hot chocolate. The kettle is just boiling. So there we go. And I'll take this off. <clears throat> and the hot chocolate, or the chocolate is melting. So for this deadly hot chocolate that I'm making, besides the ginger and the melting chocolate and the coffee, which is gone through, the other thing I'm gonna add in is um, a lovely chunk of butter. So there's that. Then I'm gonna add in some cream. Then I'm gonna add in some milk. Then I'm gonna add in the coffee. I'll take that off. And there's the big, that's the lovely black coffee. So there's that. Then the final ingredient that I'm gonna add in is some really, 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 really good drinking chocolate powder. So shake that in. There we go. Children, calm down. Calm down. What are you all on about? Hmm? What are you on about? What are you on about? You want to get up there, don't you? <laughs> okay, so that's all in there. I'm going to add in this finely chopped uh, ginger to add to the spiciness. So there's that. Now I stir. And you stir it in and allowing the chocolate is on the bottom. And that's got to continue melting. So that, what I'll probably do now is shift that over to the hot plate here. Take this over. This is the hot plate. This is the simmer plate. Bring this over. Bring my mug that I'm gonna pour it in over. Close that down. And you can see the butter is there, it's gonna melt. So this is got all the lovely dairy fats in it. Butter, cream, milk, real chocolate, dark chocolate, ginger, uh, cocoa mix, and coffee. So this is one deadly hot chocolate. So I'll let the butter and everything melt and blend. 
You can see there's the butter floating around and melting. This is just like the most deadly delicious hot chocolate. So we're getting close to serving time. Everything's in there. There's been a pinch of salt, a bit of a spice, my, one of my secret ingredients. Then here's another secret ingredient that I'll tell you about. This, good dwell for that. There. Now, that is just before you serve it because you don't want to boil the, um, you don't want to boil the alcohol. And that that's an important, important warming ingredient. So we're very close to serving now. So, here we go. Ooh, deadly. Now my niece, I'm, uh, I'm being piggy. I'm having my friend's mug full. And I'm gonna give her this one. She has to work. So we won't tell anybody that um, I've put that amount of Baileys in. So there we go. And that, my friends, is the most scrumptious hot chocolate imaginable. I need two hands to pour the last of that into these two mugs. So on that note, hopefully you'll make some of your own and see how absolutely delicious it is.